Frisbee golf, where it's golf, but the ball's a frisbee and the hole is a bunch of chains. People take it seriously. There are million dollar contracts, even Santa plays. All right, we literally just drove 40 minutes for the most disc golf store I've ever seen. I feel like we're at the, um, the little shop on Frozen. Oh yeah, so you walk in, oh. Um, yo -ho. Yo -ho. <laughs> <laughs> Big summer blowout. Oh my god, look at all the discs. I feel like we're in really good hands right now. Okay. okay. Let's make a deal. Rubble still skin. She wanna see my purple pickle up in the So I'm looking for my disc, which I'm never gonna find. But look at this disc I just found. At least I found someone else's disc. Yeah, a hand-drawn samurai. I'm so happy I found this. There is a number though, we will bring it back. Whose disc is this? Perry. Perry, man, I'm looking for mine, I found yours. What happens next is crazy. This is Perry. He's the nicest man to ever throw a disc and also happens to be a crazy talented artist. When I called the number on the disc, he couldn't believe I found it. And he told me if I brought him one of my discs, he would customize it for me as a reward for finding his. So we met up and exchanged discs, but I had no idea what Perry was about to cook up for me. Kind of gives me like some MF Doom vibes, okay? I lost a disc to get this. I could have never seen that turning into a positive. That was actually a blessing in disguise that I never would have known. Your story's never over. I would have judged something bad preemptively other than wrong. So with that being said, shout out Perry. Shout out Houston Flying Disc Society and Rip Betty White. RIP Betty White.